What's going on everybody? This will be part one on my series on the Charlie Francis motor unit involvement chart. The purpose of this video is to help everyone properly structure a workout session. Starting off, you can see to the left hand side of the chart that we have our clean and jerk snatch and clean at the top. We'll address those later. For now, we're gonna start with maximal sprinting. Here we have partner sprints. Okay, so a little agility component added in the outside stimulus that they have to react to. Getting up to a good acceleration, nice sprint. Curvy linear sprints, athlete is running in an S-shaped fashion, working on the ankles. It's important to note that for each of these exercises, we're looking to get to max speed so that we're using as many motor units as we can to make this more intense. Next, we're going to move to the right a little bit to the explosive medicine ball throws. This should come directly after sprinting. Here we have a depth drop into a vertical med ball throw. These are great for fighters partner medicine ball throws working a little bit impact absorbing that force with the eccentric and exploding out of there throwing a knockout punch each time med ball fake slam to slam love these very elastic high intensity is great for these as fast as you can go as powerful as you can be moving to the right again you can see we have plyometric jumps down there at the bottom okay these should come after your throws after your maximal effort sprints these are high depth drops. I believe this is around 50 inches of height. Some rotational broad jumps. These are great for fighters also. Rotating as we jump. Single leg hurdle to box jump. Okay, these are great for elasticity, great for working impact. Some heavy trap bar jumps. These are very force uh, oriented. Getting high off the ground with lots of weight. Now we'll move into that upper portion. Clean and jerk, the snatch and the clean. I have a, a couple examples of Olympic derivatives that we can use. Here we have a jump shrug, which actually produces more force than any of those listed upon the chart. We have a clean pull to a low pull. Lots of weight on that bar, moving that bar as fast as we can, getting lots of power out of it. Here we have a clean pull to shrug, so a little bit of mechanical work on the back end there, along with the power work. Working back to that chart, you can see we've covered almost everything on that left hand side from 100% to 75% of motor unit involvement. This is a great way to structure your workout, start from the left and move to the right. If you feel like you got any value at all out of this video, want to keep up with the series or follow for more series to come, please like this video, share it and subscribe for more.